Hi friends! In this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process for how to return an item to Amazon. I think a lot of people are intimidated by this process, but it's actually pretty easy. So you're gonna start on the Amazon website or the app and you're gonna go into your orders and you're gonna find the item you want to return. I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna return this gym lock. First, it's gonna ask you why you're returning the item and you can explain why. Maybe it was bam damaged, maybe you don't need it. I'm just gonna say, I don't need this. And then it's also asking me if it's in the original packaging. Yes, it is. And if you notice, it is offering me that I can put other items into the return that aren't from that same order. It can be convenient to return multiple things together if you need to. Then just click continue. So then you can choose to exchange the item, refund your money to your Amazon balance, replace it with the same item if it was just broken, or you could refund it to the card that you purchased it with. I would generally recommend returning it to the card you purchased it from because there's no reason to leave that money on your account. Then you're gonna click continue. Then it's gonna ask you where you wanna return it. So it's almost always gonna offer you Whole Foods drop off, Amazon drop off if you have an Amazon warehouse nearby, or the UPS store drop off. And then if you click here, you'll see some other options. It's also gonna offer you Kohl's, or you can do these other items that are gonna cost you some money. So if you wanna ship it, a lot of times you are gonna have to pay for the shipping. I often do the UPS store because it's closest to my house, but Kohl's can be really nice because Kohl's, you take it to the customer service department of Kohl's, and then they usually give you a coupon for $5 off your next purchase at Kohl's, so that's kind of nice. But you'll notice all of these items say no box or label needed. It will depend on the item and whether it came from Amazon or a third-party seller, but a lot of times it's gonna tell you no box needed. So you literally just carry the item into the UPS store or into Kohl's, and you don't have to package it up or anything. It's really easy. But do pay attention, sometimes they will ask you to package it, and that's usually if it's going to a third-party seller. And then you're just gonna click confirm your return, and notice that it tells me what date I need to return it by. They give you a pretty long time to return it. After you've clicked to return, it's gonna give you a barcode in the app, but it's also gonna send it to your email. And the email looks like this. It's gonna have the QR code here, and it's gonna tell you where you're returning it. This says the UPS store, and it'll tell you right here, no box, no label, or it could say customer packaged. In that case, you do need to put it back in a box or an envelope. So then you're just gonna go to the UPS store, walk in and say, I have an Amazon return, and they'll scan your code and they'll take the item. I've usually gotten a message from Amazon within an hour or two and they've refunded my account. It's really fast and easy. Next up, check out my video about Amazon try before you buy, and that's a way that you can try clothes and shoes without having to pay for them upfront. But you do have to return them within seven days if you don't wanna keep them. I'm gonna include the link right here for you.